So if you guys have been here for a while and watched any of my Galaxy Fold 5 videos before, you guys know that I am a huge, huge lover of the Galaxy Fold 5. Use it every single day as a primary daily driver outside of using other phones that I can review properly for you guys. But I can't be a fanboy or a shill or a Galaxy sheep, whatever you want to call it, and not say that the OnePlus Open has been a tremendous, amazing, surprising competitor to the Fold 5 for a number of reasons. So if you are new here, my name is Dave, I do tech reviews, and buckle up because there is a lot to talk about about the Galaxy Fold 5, the OnePlus Open, and might be the phone companion that you've been looking for. So let me ask you a question. What's one of the most important things pretty much everyone is looking for, more than likely yourself included, when looking for a phone to be a life companion? Usually, it's the battery. Whenever I discuss with someone about their phone, one of the main things that I always hear is that, oh, the battery life sucks, or, oh man, this battery is great, I don't have to ever worry about bringing a charger. And on both the Galaxy Fold 5 and the OnePlus Open, you're getting pretty comparable battery life, I would say, looking at like that six and a half hour. On some days, I've even been able to get close to seven hours worth of screen on time on both of these phones. Now, the difference maker being, I'm actually gonna throw you guys over here onto this tripod in three, two, one, is the exceptionally crazy fast, fast charging on the OnePlus Open. Now, this is super duper fast. You're getting 67 watts of fast charging, and it is super duper fast. Literally just yesterday, I got home from work from my clientele, took a nap, and my battery was at 50%. When I plugged it in, set the timer for 20 minutes, and woke up 20 minutes later, I had 100% battery life on this phone. On my Galaxy Fold 5, in a number of similar situations, I probably would have been closer to about 80% battery life, I would say. That extra 20% does go a long way, especially when you're considering that these aren't like the best battery life phones on the market. They're more than suitable. I personally have chargers available to me at pretty much every single point of my day. For those of you who do not, and being able to charge in those very small portions of your day do matter, you're getting a lot of extra juice here in a lot less time. Oh, and one of these phones has my absolute favorite implementation of the specific thing out of, I think, any phone that I've ever used. But I'll get to that in a little bit first. I'm going to go get a workout, and then we'll talk about it. But, man, I love this thing. I've never been one of the people in the party against the Galaxy Fold 5 that the candy bar front display was like a large problematic issue. I found it perfectly usable for basically every single day use. Plus, oh, sorry about that. No, I'm in the way. <laughs> sorry. Oh, dog. Flat out, to me personally, it's just a way better external screen display on the OnePlus Open than on the Galaxy Fold 5. Everything is super easily accessible over here on the Galaxy Fold 5 with one hand and everything is still super easily accessible one-handed over here on the OnePlus Open as well. And to me personally, it's just a more enjoyable like front to screen display. So before the Pixel Fold and the OnePlus Open came around, I would have just thought that the form factor here on the Galaxy Fold 5 was like, the best but we have competition we have different iterations and so you get stuff like this which is awesome this is beautiful right i mean the fact that we have phones now that are becoming more mainstream where it's a phone and then it's a mini tablet in your hands amazing when it comes to the tablet form factor for both of these phones all of my fold 5 videos i always get people asking if the crease on the fold 5 is a problem for me and it's a fair question because it is there honestly i'm one of those people that didn't really feel like it was a detractor of the experience and my personal experience but i can't lie that after using the oneplus open and holding them like side by side it makes the crease so much more prominent on the galaxy fold 5. in a vacuum if you're kind of like me you're not really going to notice it's not going to be a huge problem if you're getting additional screen real estate over here on the oneplus open then on the galaxy fold 5 and that's something that i noticed almost immediately it's a bigger display and it's nice. That being said though, I actually do think the Galaxy Fold 5 wins out in one particular way when you're looking at the internal screen, and that is actually the Z Fold mode. So the OnePlus Open can do it also. You can have it in that display mode. You can also close it just a little bit. You can hold that same folding form factor on the OnePlus Open. It'll hold its orientation. However, you can't go as far back as on the Galaxy Fold 5 because it's sort of, you can kind of see it. Oh. <laughs> Some kids are wondering what I'm doing. Where? Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 
That's about as far as you can go. Which honestly, on a desk or something is nice having in sort of like that mini laptop mode. But you do get a wider viewing angle on the Z Fold 5 because it just holds more. The hinge feels a little bit sturdier than the OnePlus Open, but I haven't had any problems opening and closing and having it hold its layout in this way. But as a whole, on a day-to-day -day basis, I gotta give it to the OnePlus Open. It's just, it's just been better. All right, so the thing that I was mentioning earlier in terms of being like my favorite implementation of this particular thing in a phone ever has to be the Canvas multitasking software here on the OnePlus Open. Now, I will say that the multitasking on the Galaxy Fold 5 is really good. Samsung did a really good job allowing you to freely resize your windows, right? Being able to squeeze them to make them more narrow or wider. And being able to have three windows open at one time alongside the bubble windows is fantastic. But on the OnePlus Open, you can do all of that as well as have the applications literally open, but off to like the side of the phone. Tap it, it'll come over and fill up the screen, or you can have everything open on screen at once concurrently and you have flexibility with the windows. I'm a huge fan of the way that OnePlus implemented the multitasking here on this device. It's not something that I would have thought of, but I have to say, man, that multitasking on this alongside the slightly bigger form factor of the display it's been really nice. Both of these are going to pass what you would sort of call the shower test, right? Having speakers that are loud and clear enough to have, say, on your bathroom sink, but then also be able to actually hear the podcast or the music you're trying to listen to while you're in the shower. You can definitely do that on both of these. But if you guys are looking for like a more immersive, powerful speaker experience, the Soundcore Motion X 500, the super powerful 40 watt speaker with LDAC codec, it also has an IPX7 rated water resistance. So that means even if you go to say like a hiking trail or you take it to the beach and it rains or you get a little bit of water on it, you know that it's safe. With the Soundcore app that gives you a lot of customizability in terms of like your EQ settings and gives you full band EQ control so you can really fine tune how you want this to sound. It has a 12 hour battery life so you can take it out on those day trips and you know that it's going to last you. In addition to the upward firing speakers that really helps with that immersive spatial audio sound. Also has a really impressive like premium sturdy design. Like you could tell even if this were to fall off a like table or out of your book bag or something it's still gonna hold up it's like it's really solid you actually have an eq setting switcher button up here where you can toggle between three different eq settings on the fly that way you don't have to go into the application if you don't want to depending on the music you're listening to so if you guys are looking for a really powerful speaker that is also portable i have a link in the description down below for you guys so you can check one out for yourself On both of these devices, you know they're sporting the same exact Snapdragon chipset. Gaming is comparable. You're gonna be able to play basically every single game in maximum frame rate, maximum texture settings, and you're not gonna have any hiccups, even when you're playing on that massive internal display, right? Which you would think may impact performance a little bit because it's pushing out more pixels. If there are some performance chunks, it's nothing that I wouldn't have noticed on say like my iPhone 15 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max, or my Galaxy S23 Ultra. And that way, gaming on both of these is comparably fantastic and you definitely don't have to worry about that what i definitely can say is that the galaxy fold 5 has two really big things depending on who you are that the oneplus open just doesn't even have as options one being the s pen and the second being samsung dex right so being able to hook this up to a monitor and being able to use it as a desktop pc now if i'm being honest samsung dex is not something that i use basically ever outside of showing demonstrative purposes for you guys here on youtube but the s pen is something that i use pretty frequently and have used on a number of occasions within my work as a therapist hey guys so editing the video right now and i wanted to make sure i correct myself before i say the incorrect thing in the video that being that the oneplus open actually does have pen slash stylus support with the oppo pens right so you can hook it up through bluetooth the only caveat to that though is that if those are not soft tipped pen tips much like the s pen stylus is there's potential that you could cause some scratches on your oneplus open screen but technically there is pen support for your oneplus open I really hope that OnePlus can figure out a way to implement some sort of S Pen or O Pen 
open, like O pen, open. One plus have your people talk to my people. We work something out, trademark. So not everyone is going to need either of those things, right? I know a lot of people that have a Fold and never use an S Pen. I know a lot of people that have a Fold or a Galaxy S23 Ultra that never use Samsung DeX. Not everyone's going to need it, but having that additional flexibility is nice. So it really depends on you if that's something that you need and want out of your foldable phone. So in a lot of my other videos, you guys really seem to like when I sort of just show you pictures and video from both devices and let you come up to a conclusion for yourself, what you think looks better, what you like better. Um, so in the comment section, let me know if you think the Galaxy Fold 5 looks better or the OnePlus Open. And so for this story, that's about it. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by and hanging out. Let me know if you guys are leaning more towards the OnePlus Open or the Galaxy Fold 5. I've been really impressed with OnePlus's first iteration of the folding form factor for phone. I like it a lot more than I even did my Pixel Fold, which I did enjoy a lot. Um, but they had a lot of the correct, not only software markers, but also like the hardware things as well. If you guys are looking for more tech content, that's kind of what I do here. So hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. I wish you a fantastic remainder of your day, afternoon, or night, depending on the time it is you are watching this. And as always, peace, love, and adios. Bye, guys.